Are you from an atheist background, Christian? Oh, well, I used to be Catholic. Oh, Catholic, yeah, yeah. So you can try this. No, oh, but I don't know. Just... Okay, that gay stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, this is this. There is you go. It's better, right? And what can you tell me, like? Sure. So Islam is unlike Catholicism or Christianity, it's not named after somebody. Like if you say Christian, it starts with Christ, right? Yeah. Jewish starts with Judah, Judaism, Hindu or Buddhist, all of them have a beginning with people. Islam believes in a holistic approach to religion, which is that the same creator sent Jesus and Moses and Abraham, the same one that inspired them to do good. That's the same Allah creator that inspired the Prophet Muhammad. But people corrupt the message. As you know, I mean, the Catholics, I mean, they, they change the Bible. Their Bible has more chapters than the Protestant Bible. Book of Mormon is totally different from that. We believe in preserving the message as it was revealed. So the Prophet Muhammad, the Quran was revealed to him. He didn't write it because he couldn't read or write. It was revealed to him as a message. And those that were around him, they would write it down or memorize the whole Quran. And then from that time period, we have Qurans that were written down that we still can carbon date today. So we don't have the same corruption that you find in the Bible. Have you read the Bible? That's so you know <laughs> the contradictions and the things yeah. that were changed yeah, and all the weird stuff. Yeah. There you go, you're, 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 you're there. The Islamic belief is very simple. We have a creator, he's not a man, he's not a woman, it's not a white guy on long hair, all that kind of stuff, right? Yeah. <laughs> it, we don't give gender to our creator. We don't give human qualities. We, we say, Laysa kamithlihi shay. The Quran says, there's nothing like him. We use the word Allah, we know him through many names. One hadith it mentioned that there is 99. And in, in fact, there are many more. And the Quran says there's so many names, like different creatures could know Allah through different names. So, so there's, a, there's a broader scope of religion. And Islam works hand in hand with science. Like anything is a scientific fact, you will find things that could not have been known to the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him that are known to science today but you will find in the Quran itself. So unlike the Christian idea where a lot of times it's, it's fighting science, we believe that science is only a study of Allah's creation. Now why do we use the word Allah? First because Allah chose it for himself but also it has no gender. Like if you say God, that's sexist because that means a man. Because if you're a woman and you're being judged by a man, it may not be fair. If he's white, if he's a white guy on a cross, it's not fair to black people or brown people. But Islam doesn't believe in force. Islam begins in the heart. So if somebody forces you, can't ever be Muslim. It's got to be in your heart. And it's a direct relationship. 